Hi guys. Um, today I want to do a Facebook Live with you on how to do the stamping on candles. I was going to do an actual video for YouTube and upload it and all that, but as most of you probably know, my desktop computer died the other day. So, as a result, I'm not able to upload videos without having... Um, a massive anxiety attack from the fact that things move extremely slow with the laptop. So I decided it would just be easier and less stressful to just do a Facebook Live for you and show you how I did it. So now I'm just trying to bring this up, the live up on my phone so I can see if anybody's joining us because right now my iPad is above my head and I can't really see what's happening here. Oop. Let me just adjust a little bit to make sure if I can watch it along with you, I can kind of at least know who's on and have an idea. Oh, here we go. If I'm even in my frame, oh, no, it won't let me. My phone will not play the video. What's up with that? All right, so let's try going this route. Stubborn. Hmm. <laughs> Bear with me. I know I seem to have more than my share of issues when it comes to devices. There we go. Let's try this. Bear with me. Oop. Now I gotta silence it. There we go. Uh, now I've lost my picture. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. I think we're now up and running here. Okay, so I am going to show you how I did this candle here. Um, okay, again, this is a pretty simple project um, and it's not difficult at all. All right, so let's bring in you need some tissue paper. And you're gonna notice your tissue paper has a shiny side and a flat side. The flat side is where we're going to actually do our stamping. You don't wanna be on the shiny side. Um, your ink will smear, okay? I've got my other candle. Okay, so this is the candle we're gonna I actually picked these candles up at Hobby Lobby. They actually had them on sale for, I believe it was like 50% off. Um, and they came in a package of two this size. They had the smaller ones that came in a package of three. And there was all different sorts. But I bought the two different sizes. The, the half size, they're about half the size that I showed yesterday in a photo um, that I posted on the group page. And then um, this size, the size that I showed in the photo, those came in a package of three. This size comes in a package of two. And again, they were fairly inexpensive because Hobby Lobby did have them on sale. And who doesn't love a sale? All right, so I am using this stamp set here, the Musical Season. This is one of my favorites out of the holiday catalog. I, hopefully I'm getting this in the frame so you can see it. Um, I love this drummer boy. I love all the images on here, but for this candle, I am going to use the Peace, Joy, Love, and the drummer boy. And I'm actually using my Memento ink. And I'm going to ink up my sentiment. I know I'm a little early for a Facebook Live. I'm not usually this early to do something like this. 
And I apologize I didn't put out the word that I was going to be doing this because I really was planning on just doing a regular video. Um, but like I said, discovered that my laptop isn't meant for that. Um, so anyway, just going to stamp my sentiment down. I have my tissue paper. Okay. And I'm going to get my drummer boy. I'm just going to ink him up. And because he's a solid image, you really want to make sure you get him inked up really well. I think my memento needs to be refilled, so probably should have done that before we did this, but I think that's good. And then I'm just going to excuse my head if it's getting in the camera view. I'm just going to let him sit there for just a second. Okay. Probably should have went down just a touch lower, but it'll still work. Okay. Now, the key here is you want to cut this down with your scissors. You don't want that big piece, obviously. So we're just going to cut this tissue paper around our images. You do need your heat tool for this and some waxed paper you're going to bring in. And just trim it around. You don't have to be precise. You just want to get it fairly small. So that's all you need. Okay. So then we need to bring in our wax paper. I'm just using typical Reynolds cut right wax paper. Nothing special. I'm going to tear off a piece. I'm going to grab my tissue paper image and I'm just going to find where I'd like it. There we go. Make sure I have it straight. There we go. And then you're going to take your waxed paper. And it doesn't matter which side. Both sides are covered in wax. So you're just going to smooth it over. Just make sure you keep your hands and fingers out of the way of... I would have made this a little bit longer. You can actually have a handle. Oh, there I got a little bit of a handle there. All right, excuse the noise, but this does make a bit of noise. I'm just going to heat our image with the wax paper. And you'll start to see it start to take on a shine where the wax melts into the uh, tissue paper and image. You can see that really well, but it is beginning to melt and take on a sheen. do it. I'm just going to let it sit here for just a second and let the wax set back up. Okay. 
And now you just want to gently peel away the wax paper. And as you can see, we now have an, our image melted directly into the candle. And you cannot see where the tissue paper begins or ends. Pretty cool, huh? If you have any questions on how I did this, please feel free to let me know. And I'll be for sure to get those questions answered for you. I hope that answered how I did this. Have a great day, guys. Bye.